Okay, I'm going to show you a card trick. I have 12 cards here. There's four different suits and three different cards in each suit. I have a jack, queen, and king in each of the four suits. And I'm using an old deck of cards that I don't need anymore. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a three-dimensional structure that shuffles them up really well. So the first thing you have to do is fold over the edge of each card. And I'm taking over the top here uh, of each card from one corner, uh, folding over the number part back. And what I have left is a kind of a rhombus shape. And I'm going to do that on all the cards. Now they're all folded with about a 20 degree angle, leaving an obtuse angle and an acute angle. And you'll see you can put together three of the obtuse angles to make a three-way joint. And I'm doing that with a jack, king, and queen showing. And I want that everywhere. Three-way joints with jack, queen, king. Uh, there's also these acute angles. And here I'm putting four of these together. And I'm going to put together four uh, in a way that shows all four suits. And I like that everywhere. Wherever there are four together, all four suits. Wherever there are three together, jack, queen, king. Can you do that everywhere to make a three-dimensional structure? And here's the result. You'll see jack, queen, king, jack, queen, king, jack, queen, king, jack, queen, king. Every three-way corner has jack, queen, king. And every four-way corner has all four suits. This is a rhombic dodecahedron. There are six fourfold vertices and eight threefold vertices. It's a lovely shape. And this just barely holds together without any tape. You'll see it comes right apart if you want it to. Uh, if you want it to last longer, I suggest you tape it. So here's one which I taped together on the inside. The same idea. It has five, six, seven at each threefold vertex and all four suits at all fourfold vertices. Uh, and I left one card untaped. So you can open it up and have a secret box for your stash of stuff. That's my card trick. So where's the math? Well, here it is. Here's a cube. Start with its six faces, eight vertices, and 12 edges. You can count four in one direction, four in another direction, four in the third direction, x, y, and z directions. So from a cube, you can imagine putting a pyramid, a square pyramid on a face that has four isosceles triangles. You can do that on every face, and they might be tall or they might be short. And if I choose this height, these yellow pyramids come together and they show me what's called the rhombic dodecahedron. Here I've chosen exactly the right height so that the isosceles triangle from one face and from another face are coplanar. They come together across an edge of the original cube uh, to make a rhombus. And the 12 edges now correspond to 12 rhombi, 12 rhombuses. So if you keep this in mind, it'll help you figure out where to put your cards. We have four groups of three and three groups of four if we think of the suits and the, the numbers, jack, queen, king. Uh, so how can we choose those three groups of four and four groups of three? Let's start with the three groups of four. Uh, remember in the cube we have uh, sort of an x direction, a y direction, and a z direction. Uh, so that gives me three natural groups of four. Uh, what does that translate to in terms of these faces? Well, if I take, say, this direction, call this the x direction, there's four edges here. And if I take the four rhombi that are in them, they're the ones that spin around if I rotate about this fourfold axis. So I could have one here, one here, one here, and one here. And that's how I'm going to assign uh, the jack, queen, king in my card construction. So let me take my card construction here. And I'm holding it at a fourfold point. And if I turn it around, you'll see a king, a king, a king, a king. And if I rotate to a different fourfold axis, here I have a jack, a jack, a jack, a jack. And one more will give me uh, the queens. Queen, 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 queen. So those three groups of four are a natural way uh, to spread out the jack, queen, kings um, here. And because in the original cube, each corner I have three combinations. I have one x, one y, and one z direction. 
that means that each threefold corner here, I'm going to have one each of jack, queen, king. So that guarantees I have the distribution I want for the threefold vertices. Now, what about the fourfold vertices? How do I find four groups of three among these faces? So again, start with the cube. And what does it have four of? Well, it has four long diagonals, one, two, three, four, that go from a vertex to the diagonally opposite vertex. If I stand it up on a long diagonal, um, it can, you can kind of spin it around, and you'll see three vertices, uh, three edges connect to the three vertices on top, three edges from the bottom, and that leaves a up, down, up, down, up, down, zigzag of six edges. And to choose three edges, I can choose, say, just the ups, the up, the up, the up. And if I do that for each of the four diagonals, I'll end up having chosen all 12 edges exactly once. So what does that turn into here? Well, I stand it with a corner up, and if I look at, say, edge, 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 I'm looking at every other one of the faces here. If I spin it, I can hold it up. I'll have one, skip one, another one, skip one, a third one, as I go around the six faces that are going along this diagonal. So back to the card construction. Uh, what do I do if I do that? It means I can spin this around, and I should be able to find the same suit happening over and over and over. Um, so what do I have here? I have a club, a club, a club. Okay, skipping the other ones in between. Club, skip, club, skip, club, skip. If I take a different threefold axis, uh, what am I going to see here? A heart, skip, a heart, skip, a heart, skip. Uh, and then there's another one here. It'll give me a diamond, skip, a diamond, skip, a diamond, and then there's a fourth one. Uh, so that gives me a way to give four well-distributed sets of three, and I'm using that for the suits. And the interesting thing is that this three sets of four and four sets of three are completely independent of each other, so I get one of each combination. Uh, every possible combination of a card type and a suit is here exactly once, and if you keep that in mind, you'll be able to reproduce this structure that has all the properties you want. Jack, queen, king at every threefold vertex, and all four suits at every fourfold vertex. Try it.